Welcome back to Siberia 3. It looks good. I just loaded the backup after I made the wrong choice and said the rude thing about like not even wanting to find her pretty much. And well, the music is back to normal, so it's not like all ominous. Oh, oh no, she's been kidnapped. It's it's just kind of a something has happened. She's gone. So that seems like a good thing. So again, I'm gonna go through here, check the cemetery, talk to Dunyasha, and then we should get the ominous music. And then we'll talk to Kirk and see if he says anything new. And if he doesn't, then I'm just gonna. But Oscar. Yeah, there why we go. Did you go to the cemetery? Good. That means the backups worked. No Great. So we can save and load whenever we want. That's fantastic. Admit Super it. fucking cumbersome huh. and really yeah. roundabout, but we can, and that's what matters. Microids. Please fucking take take notes. This is not the way to do it. It's bad. It's really bad. Is this the way? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we talk to Dunyasha. And we will see. Hey, how would it be to just skip cutscenes and stuff? That would be awesome, right? It would be really cool. What's wrong, Miss Walker? You there we go. Well, it did autosave here. Huh? Didn't even notice that last before? time. A young woman rather clumsy. And you now nerve, Oscar. we leave. It was only to be expected. Any investigator worthy of the name must describe the victim as precisely as possible if the victim is to be found. And here we go. Very slow progress, but that's to be expected from this game when you can't skip anything, can't skip dialogue, can't skip cutscenes, can't save and load wherever you want. It sure is a lot more bothersome than the previous games. Okay, so we head over here, and now we go over this way and talk to Kirk. He should be, like, right here. Nope, that's not it. Right there? Nope. Uh, over here, I think? Yeah, there he is. Powerful be the spirits with her. Oh, he doesn't Powerful say anything. Be the spirits with her. Yuki's very good trackers. Hi. Uh, I don't... Really didn't really want to do this, but find her. He didn't have trouble getting a Yuki to obey you? No, none. You must find Kate Walker. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Seek now. Seek, find Kate Walker. Do you hear? Wait for me. What's happening? I thought we would have to use the scarf. Huh? Yeah, shouldn't we, like, have him sniff the scarf? Oh. We do. He just, like, ran around for no I reason. that you may just need some help. It's lucky I left my old scarf in the end. Oh. You should really have taken far greater care of your belongings all the same. Even though I find, I must admit, it did eventually prove to be useful. What? Wait. Huh? What do you... No, but what do you mean? Like, you didn't have two scarves. You started the game without a scarf, and then you got a new scarf from Sarah. You didn't have an old scarf, did you? And why would you say that you left it? That's kind of a strange thing when you don't even have the scarf. I thought that was like, oh, she said that because I had already picked it up, but I, I haven't. Not in this save. This is weird. I don't understand anything. But anyway, I'm gonna quit the game and I'm gonna reload the previous save. I guess we'll do the, the other one so we can say like, let's go to Kirk, just to see what happens. So, one moment. Oh, we're right here. 
Okay. I guess that works. So now we go and talk to Kirk. And now it's like after we talk to Dunyasha. Right? I have the scarf. I have the scarf. Okay. Yeah, this is fine. Alright, well, at least that's not too bothersome, especially not with uh, OBS. I can, like, quit the game and all tab and all that without the recording actually getting affected. So, it's quite a lot nicer. And the young keeper in the cemetery told me about an American who came looking for her last night. An American? That must be the private detective who was following her. Let's go! Let's go in that cape. I'm going to in that cape? To look for Kate what? The ostrich keeper will lend you a Yuki to use. He just definitely said in that case. They have an incomparable sense of smell. And what is she gonna say now? Same thing about did you find the Yuki useful? Was the Yuki Kurt yep. told you about of any use? <sighs> you really have no idea. All right, here we go. Finally. Now. Oh, hi. That was Kirk. Powerful be the spirits with her. Yeah. Okay. So now. Hello. Um. Let's hold for it to sniff. Back. Don't move from here. I'll be back. Oh. Okay. And let's pet it. Hello, my young friend. I have been told the most wonderful things about your olfactory capabilities. It's kind of weird because in Siberia 2, Oscar was a little bit like he never. What what was the relationship between Oscar and the Yuki? Like, it's not like he hated it, but he seemed a little bit like not too keen on getting anywhere near it or something. Am I misremembering? Pet it again. Hello, my young friend. I have been told the most wonderful things about your olfactory capabilities. Okay. So, do I want to just say, find Kate Walker? I mean, I don't really need to. We've already done it. Let's let's just open inventory and have him sniff some oil. Sniff oil. Oh, it actually works. What? Shouldn't he, like, jump Oscar or something? Like, you you smell like oil. I don't even know. But yeah, there we go. Let's use this. Wait for me! Yeah, okay. So we just don't waste our time running around there. But I guess I should have anyway. But it's fine. Oh, what the hell was that? Aha! Uh -huh. As I thought. Oh, see, it's kind of weird, because, like, the scarf, oh, it was covered in blood. Wouldn't that actually, like, worsen the scent? Because, I mean, people don't smell like the blood they have in them. So if it's soaked in blood, that would, like, overpower the actual scent of Kate Walker, wouldn't it? I guess it doesn't matter to a dog. Or dog thing. Oh my god, there's two of them! What the hell? What are you doing? She's in there. Oh god. Well done, creature. Hi, yeah, uh, creature. Yeah, that's the least you can say. Oh my god. That's an interesting bug. Too bad it disappeared. They are blocked from the inside. And yeah, I have nothing to use here. Can't even use it here. All right, let's go and see if I can just for some reason oil the door that was stuck. Even though that doesn't really make any sense. I guess you oil like the, the grooves, possibly. 
No, there's not even anything you can do here, but yeah, let's try and open this. Stuck. Maybe I have to go find Kirk and then he'll help me, like he'll bring some strong arm yukles with tools and stuff. Or maybe I just talk to the smith now, now that I've done this and he's like, you can ask him if he has any tools or any crowbars or something. Huh. Well, back we go. And the, oh, Yuki, what are you doing? Anything useful? Oh, can I, can I take this? Uh, nope. No, that's, that's not anything. Well? Oh, okay. This is something. What is it? Ah, I see. So you can get in that way. Or no, he's just bringing, like, a crowbar. Or a steel rod. It's an actual crowbar. You certainly know how to be helpful. That's kind of weird, because, yeah, crowbars are very fucking heavy, normally. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What, I what is that? Oh, what is that? Don't do that. Oh, I wanted to go even further back. This way. Oh, it's it's almost like amazing, but not quite. It just looks a little bit unnatural, not like the exorcist. So I'm assuming you can't do it here. This is still barred and stuck. You're you're gonna have to it go around. Work. Yeah, exactly. To the elevator thing or whatever that is. I guess I should go back and, like, talk to everyone with a crowbar in hand, just to be like, Hey, check it out, I've got a crowbar, but let's not waste that much time. It would be too annoying. Hey, I was right, though. You did get a crowbar to open this door. Cool! And it's saved, which means I'm gonna make a backup. One second. There we go. Doesn't take very long, but very useful to have in case there's something that happens in here. Push button. And the door just closes even though it was so stuck. Odd. Oh, God. I thought it was like Canton coming with a sledgehammer or something. Uh. Low wine. What What was up with the low wine? Oh, that's Take the low water. wine. She has her fucking scarf! Oh, my God, this is I so bad. No recollection of that, Oscar. What's up with that? Also, I'm why is... You why is the heart around... Bad. What?! The, they just fucked everything up! She's wearing her necklace with a heart of Oscar, and Oscar is fucking there, alive! Oh my god. Oh no, that came much later, Kate Walker. At that precise moment, I developed the first draft of my plan. Seek the keys in your attacker's pocket. After all, I do not know of any problem that a gentlemanly discussion cannot resolve, in normal times at any rate. Oh my god. This is the fucking worst. They are so dumb. Why does she have the scarf when I have the scarf? Well, not anymore. The Yukul took the scarf, I guess. And why does she have Oscar's heart around her neck when he's up and running and alive with a heart inside him? It makes no fucking sense. It's so dumb. I guess you couldn't wake me up. As I realized I was not in a position to set you free, I felt that it would be preferable to leave the effects of the drug to dissipate while I sought a solution. Oh my god. And again. 
Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here's the thing. Can't go back there. Broken elevator. That's the part of your story I don't understand, Oscar. Why didn't you retrace your steps and get reinforcements from the Yukels? Well, the elevator was fortuitously found to be in a state of, uh, disarray after I used it. I see. Okay. Oh, that's my clothing. Great. Um, so it wasn't like any... This was like old clothing from, uh... Whatever her face was, like, Helena or something? No, I can't remember. But, Ka Katarina? I think it was Katarina. Her, like, husband or something. His old clothes, which seemed like, oh, it was just his stuff. Specifically his, but no, it's, I guess just, like, an, a uniform or some weird thing. Wait, so, no, this, oh, no! Go back up. I wanted to check the other side. I guess maybe it's just stairs down either way. Whoops. Can't run over Kate. Yeah, it's probably the same either way. Yeah, okay. But we'll leave Canton for now. Can't look at the chandelier. Way to spoil what you're doing. And he just doesn't care or hear that someone is just running around right next to him. Can I go down here? I can! Okay. Sure, let's explore around. Wait, nothing over here. Nope. Nice jogging animation. Sexy hipsway. And downstairs. Oh my god. Well, yeah. The stairs are definitely not as bad as they used to be. Yet. I can go down there, I guess, as well. Oh my god. Can't go in here. Nothing there. I can go up. Holy crap. This is a pretty massive place. It looks good, at least. This area is neat looking. Pretty high quality textures compared to some of the stuff in the game. And. Aha! I need that key that Canton has. Why? Oh, because it's... Ah, this is the uh, opening. It's it's barred. I see. And I don't have the crowbar anymore. You could probably just, like, smash the lock off if you had a crowbar. Maybe. Maybe not. No. No, no, no. Hello? So about the stairs... Okay. Well, they still work. So I guess that's that's not really the stairs' fault. The stairs did nothing wrong. It's just like the game. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. What the hell, camera? What did you just do? What is the camera doing? And now we're just back here. Well, I mean, if we go through the tunnel, we will be. What? A pumpkin? What's a pumpkin doing there? How far can we run? Oh my god! Endless running! Oh! 
Oh, hi, I'm back. How did that even work? I... I'm not sure I kept track of the... Geography there. Well, that's fine, I suppose. In that case, let's go even further in. I guess that's the, the bat cave and all that. And he won't want to go any further. Can I take that there pumpkin? No question of ah. going back to that sinister town. Yeah, okay. Alright, but what about over here? Pumpkin? Random food? No? Ah. Too bad. Can't climb into the train car. Oh, what was that? Just climbing up, I think. Yeah, it's just for climbing up. Well, I mean, I'm not sure where I last saved. But I'm... Oh, okay. Well, guess we're doing the cutscene now. I was gonna say, I don't think I have time for uh, the entire cutscene. But I guess I do. Excuse me, sir? Uh, yes? I'm a friend of Kate Walker's, and I believe I understand that you wish to leave with her. That's right. I have a warrant for her arrest. Not that that's something a uh, robot like you would understand. Excuse me, so automaton, me please. Space, we're going to the States. I'm an automaton. Yep, and alas, I knew it. I am unable to permit you to do such a thing, so I must ask you to please set her free and attend to any other duties you might have, and rest assured we shall do the same. Or else what, you pile of bolts? No way I'm letting her go. You got that in that rusty kettle of yours? Because of her, I've crossed half the planet, been hit by blizzards and wild animals, and she almost got me thrown in jail in Valsamor. Oh! Dot dot dot! We can think! You see, Kate Walker, I did not believe that man would be persuaded by mere words. The use of somewhat more forceful arguments was therefore oh dear. one of my options. Well, you bugged or what? You're As bugged. You know, Kate Walker, intimidation can sometimes be effective, even with the most cunning brute. That was one of my alternatives. Okay. Uh, let's teach a lesson, because I'm more curious. before I get ticked off. Why is it so gray? Because I'm just curious. I'm, I'm going to click this again, so it, maybe the color comes back. Because this is weird. By mere words. The use or are we just going to play the game in grayscale at this point? One of my options. Well, you bugged or what? I think the game is bugged, but in that case, yep, the game is bugged. Myself required to oblige you by force. Oh God. Um. <laughs> if that's the way you want it. <laughs> you seem to be someone of rather considerable strength, sir. I do trust that you have not injured yourself. Get out of my sight before I change you into. <laughs> Is it gonna be grayscale still? It's all grayscale! The entire game is just grayscale! Oh, it's coming back. And that oh, that was weird. To take out Canton with the chandeliers? Patience, Kate Walker. You know that the success of that type of operation requires careful planning and method. I therefore first found myself in a place propitious for the implementation of a new plan. And back to grayscale. And on grayscale. I observed that with only very slight assistance, a portion of the ceiling would collapse on your attacker. A train from the station could then open hostilities. Wait, what? Equals F times D. QED. The ceiling would then be on the point of giving way, but it's still uh, an essential piece. The target. Because no doubt, Mr. Canton would not dare to venture beneath such a ramshackle building. You might as well put all these like math equations so flying around. The right bait to attract him to the most opportune spot. Oh God. 
This is bad. What's the point of a puzzle if you're just telling me the entire solution? By demonstrating the exactness of Newton's second law. Wait, is it... Are we not gonna do this? It's just gonna show? Hey, this is what I did. It's so cool. Or are we now going to have to do that, too? Is this all of the DLC? Fine. Oh, nice sliding in there. On our way again. What? But that's it? Well, yes, Kate Walker. That doesn't make sense. Nope, slide out. When I came to, Canton was underneath a chandelier that had fallen from the ceiling. Oh, is that what is bothering you? Well, let's just say that my plan evolved as it became more concrete. Nothing that it Okay, really so this was the plan, the not what was the final execution? <sighs> Come on, what is the problem now? Nothing. It's just that... I was expecting a more breathtaking ending, to be honest. Well... If this might serve as a moral to my tale, Kate Walker, the proof is that it actually over already? Is that it is executed without a hitch. It lets you efficiently gain what is usually lost over the course of time. You must always have a plan, you know. I, I guess so. Yes. Anyway, thank you for the story, Oscar. I'm gonna sleep now. I want to be in good shape for when we get to the border. Good night. Good night, Kate Walker. But now we get to... That was a well-oiled hmm. plan. Let's just hope that Kate Walker will take good note of it. What really happened? Aha. Uh -huh. Can we play this? Yeah, we can. And it's saved. Okay. So it's not quite over yet. But man, this is weird. And I'm not sure I like it. But we will end it there because it's taken forever now. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time, where I'll, I'll definitely have checked out the achievements by then, just to see if I can get them and all that stuff. Bye-bye!